Good morning, Jesse Buckley and Bernard Butler. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Mercury Prize 2022. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling great. It's, great. Yeah, it's nice to be here and uh, proud and yeah, it's lovely. Two of the best dressed people on the <laughs> beige carpet as well, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> make an effort, that's all. Well, yeah. Just make an effort. Doesn't happen very often. Just make an effort. We'll get on to your own nomination shortly. What, what do you think that this year's um, shortlist says about music in 2022? Um, I don't think it says anything about music in 2022. I don't think there's any effective sound bites that work. Uh, music is supposed to last forever. It's supposed to, be, it's supposed to go past its time. It can represent uh, the times in some way but it also needs to work for people in future times as well. So I never look for what works as a zeitgeist. I don't think it's a very effective way of looking at music. I don't look at music, the music I listen to. I, don't, I never look on the date and think, oh, I can't listen to that. 83, oh, no, I can't do that. You know, I just, you, you, music is something you should feel, and that's all. Feel, you should feel it and let it into your life. And it just shouldn't matter where it comes from, who's making it, and what they are, where they come from. What a great answer. And um, what do you think it is about your record that has spoken to people in the way that it has and kind of uh, made that connection? No, I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> That's literally up to them. <laughs> I don't think you can ever be like objective from the inside out. And it'll probably be 20 years down the line and we'll like put, a, put it on and having not heard it for 20 years and be like, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. what it was. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> but it is um, a beautiful record, and um, I just wanted to know, like, what did you see in each other as collaborators, and what brought you together? <sighs> Jesse, <laughs> big sorry. <laughs> there's two things. Uh, well, it's also because it was also it was always embarrassing because you're here, you know. So it's like <laughs> yeah. having to reveal what I really think. Um, I thought I, I heard Jesse sing once for about two minutes, and I turned it off. Uh, and uh, that's because I thought she had a great voice and I thought there was character and I thought there was interesting things. For me, there's only two things that matter is uh, personality and, uh, well, there's the, you know, if somebody can sing, it's just an easy technical tick, you know. Um, so, and I like to get to know somebody, you know, that's what's important for me. A billion people can sing, everyone in this room can sing or everyone in the tube can sing. It's about connecting with character and uh, finding out what somebody else hasn't already found out. That's always what writing songs is about, is what finding. I want to find the thing that somebody else didn't find. And Anything so there to you go. on that, Jesse? Um, well, we didn't, neither of us really knew each other. Like, I, I didn't really know, I didn't know, we didn't know each other. And actually, it was kind of a blessing in disguise um, because we just met each other in the moment and trusted each other and took a leap of faith and. In a way, we probably could come in just as we were because of that, not because of who we were. I, I, I had, I'd listened to an album that um, Bernard had worked on with Sam Lee called Oh Wow, and I absolutely adored it and loved it. And um, yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes it's good to just have a clean slate and not know anything, you know, no pre kind of conception of who somebody is and allow them to create a new space for themselves. Amen. Well, Jesse and Bernard, congratulations and good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.